Hey guys, Matt from PSI Conversion here. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about fuel injectors and what you can do to clean them in a budget setup that you just wanna make sure they work and are properly cleaned and not clogged up. All right, so what I have here is I have a can of carburetor and throttle body cleaner adapted down to an injector. Now what happens with a lot of these injectors when they've been sitting, say you, you're doing a budget build and you pull an engine out of a junkyard, or you're just unsure of the condition of the engine that you have, a lot of times they get gunged up, gummed up from the ethanol content in a lot of newer fuels. So instead of having a nice spray pattern, they'll be a little bit clogged and you might not be getting the performance the injector is supposed to have. So this is a good way to check and ensure that and also clean them if they are at home with no special tools needed. I made this using some 3 8 hose to go on top of the injector. I just removed the O-ring, slid this over and put a hose clamp there. I then used some plastic hose adapters that you can buy at the auto parts store to adapt down to a quarter inch and then a vacuum line. I put hose clamps wherever I could um, but the vacuum line to the straw for this carburetor cleaner can has some heat shrink to hold it together as well as some zip ties just to hold that pressure in. I got safety glasses here because you know safety first always. First couple times I made this I did blow up some of the, uh, the heat shrink that's why I used zip ties. I did a couple layers of heat shrink to really reinforce it. So moving forward we got I made a pigtail, but on the injector, if you don't have a pigtail, they are marked positive. These are a set of EV1s, they're right on the side. Other injectors might be marked in a different spot, but they are all usually marked with the positive side. So using just some alligator clips, I'm going to connect the positive side to the positive side of this battery here. And then what I'm going to do with the negative side is just tap the ground to make the connection. That's essentially what your ECM is going to be doing with these in the vehicle, is just supplying the ground momentarily to pulse the injector and spray the fuel. And at the same time, I'm gonna be pushing this button, but I'm only gonna pressurize it and I'm not gonna hold it down. That was when I had the heat shrink blowing out. So we'll go ahead and get to it. And as you can see, this injector here was actually pretty clean. It wasn't gummed up or anything. And the spray pattern was nice and even throughout the whole thing. And it didn't just dribble out of the end of the connector. Now, if your injectors are really bad and maybe this doesn't clean it up, there are professional cleaners. You can send your injectors out and get them cleaned with a, a machine that cleans them. It'll also flow test them. You can make sure your set is evenly matched. And that's the best way to go about it if you want to clean injectors. Maybe you got a nice set with an engine, but they're just clogged up. The other alternative is if they're really bad and you just want some stock replacements, it's always good to go ahead and get new injectors if they're in bad condition. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped you get your project wired up and fired up. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, leave us a comment about anything, any questions you have on this video or anything you want to see in the future. We'll see you in the next one.